the first and the most important thing we need to be important and caring about is what Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah قُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ السِّيَامَ كَمَا قُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّكُونَ Fasting in the month of Ramadan has been made obligatory for you like it was made obligatory for the people of the scriptures or people who were the followers of the previous prophets. And the whole purpose was what? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّكُونَ So that you may, you may achieve piety, you may become pious. So the fast we are going to spend should be in a state of piety with the feeling of the fear of Allah in a state, in a condition of piousness. The fear of Allah during our fast should be predominating over all the other feelings. Not only we will be stopping from eating and drinking, but we will be in a state of total self-control because of this fear of Allah. And this is exactly what the purpose of fasting is. Hazrat Abu Huraira who narrates in Bukhari that Prophet has told us, warned us, all of us, that Allah has no need for him to leave. Allah has no need for him to leave his food or drink for who cannot leave evil or falsehood during fast. So fasting is actually self-discipline, self-control. And that is what fast is going to train all of us to. So let not such conditions prevail during our fast. Let never, never during our fast, let such conditions prevail that our tongue and throat is all dry and parched. But despite being dried and being parched, the tongue is wagging and wagging and there is loose talk mocking people, hurting people, belittling people, making fun of friends, backbiting, slandering. Then the stomach might be empty, feeling pangs of hunger, but the heart is all filled up. The heart is all bloated with arrogance, with envy, with sinful desires, with the desires of forbidden things, with hatred and enmity for the relations of kith and kin, or with the lust and love of the world and the worldly riches and wealth. No, we need to purify, we need to clean up our souls and hearts let not such conditions prevail that with our eyes we recite the Quran, we read the verses of Quran and with the same eyes during fast we are busy seeing movies and dramas and all sorts of forbidden stuff with our own ears we will be listening to the Quran, the recitations of the Quran, but with the same, with the very same ears, we spent our fast entertaining ourselves, listening to music and all sorts of musical stuff. No, no, we have to say no to all this because fasts are basically training us for being the pious believers. It is a training for piety. Ramzan is basically a refresher for the God-fearing. Fast and Ramazan train us for self-control. So we will be, inshallah, we will be, inshallah, in this Ramzan, we will be very vigilantly, very vigilantly and very sensitively controlling our tongues, our eyes, our ears, 
and we will be meticulously planning and working out to purify our souls, our hearts, as Allah says, "Kad aflaha man zakaha wa kad khaba man dasaha." Successful, indeed, surely successful in the world and hereafter is the person who purifies his heart, who cleans his soul. And failure to be successful, failure to achieve the rewards and the bounties in your after is the person who just, who just suppresses all the evils in the soul and just lets them be like they are and carries on his evil and his sinful life in the pattern it was carrying on.